So this is the meat that we'll be using today. It's a beef round, bottom round hole, boneless, and it's about six pounds. So we're gonna be cutting these in chunks so it can cook evenly. We're going to be adding about six cups of water into the pan. And then now we add one tablespoon of salt. And now we start adding the meat in our pot. Uh, make sure you put the temperature to medium high. So we are going to let this boil for two hours. So here we change our pot to a little bit more deeper one, so it has room to boil. Now we're going to be adding three cloves of garlic. We're also going to be adding half of an onion. So now we're going to be adding four bay leaves. So now we need a separate pot to boil our dry chili pots. So here we have the California chili pots. You will need 12 and you're going to add these to the pot of water. And you're going to have these turn to medium high. So here we have the Japanese chilies. And you're going to need about a handful of them and you're going to add these to the pot. Remember to remove all stems if they have any. So now take out your blender. We're gonna add a half an onion, a tablespoon of chicken flavor bouillon, uh, one teaspoon of marjoram, and three cloves of garlic. Now back to our meat. When you see this foam, Make sure you remove all of it. So once your chilies start to boil, you may now turn them off and wait till they cool down. Once they've cooled down, you may now add those chilies to the blender. With the same water that you use to boil the chilies, you're gonna add three cups of that water into the blender. You're also gonna add half of this eight ounce tomato sauce. And now you blend it. And this is how it should look. So 
So now that our meat has been boiling for two hours, we're gonna go and check it. We're gonna take a little piece, make sure it's well cooked inside, and look, see how it's almost falling apart. Now that our meat is ready and it's been boiling for two hours, we're gonna add our chili that we just did in the blender. We're gonna need a strainer. We're gonna add it in there. That way the chunks don't go in there. So now grab a spoon and move it around so it can fall down to the pot. Now, after a little bit, this is how it's going to look. Now, from the same water that you boiled the chilies, you're going to add six cups to your blender, and you're going to add it into the strainer. Now that you make sure all the chili is in there, you're gonna let it boil for another hour and you are done. So total time was three hours. And if you want, you can add more salt to taste. So now that your birria is almost done, we start with our toppings that we're going to add to it. And we add cilantro and onions. Uh, when you get your cilantro, make sure you rinse it very well. And now we're going to cut this in little tiny pieces. This part of the cilantro we can throw away. And now you add your chopped onions, mix them up, you're ready to go. If you like this video make sure yeah you guys hit that like make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time